This episode we show you how we prepare our dinghy for our ocean crossing. And we sail from Penang back to Langkawi. Wild and free, baby, we can dream farther than our eyes have ever seen. Today we are putting Dory on the deck because we're about to cross a massive ocean and we haven't put Dory on the deck before, so we're not sure if she can fit, but we've taken her for a run. Lee's getting all of the bits and pieces off of her, taking out the anchor, we've got the fuel container out. So Lee's just cutting off some really, really rusty shackles that are on our anchor that lives in the dinghy. Yeah, they're a little bit stuck together. Removing the um, outboard. The outboard's been on there for a pretty long time and Lee's already tried to get it off and he needed some WD-40. He's just soaking it now. Yeah. You haven't tried again? Not yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's not too bad. He should be able to get it off. And then we will be able to see if we can put her up on the deck and hopefully she can sit there nice and snug and not move and be perfect. But we don't know. So we're going to test it out today. So you think the time consuming thing is going to be actually doing the thing that you think but it's actually the preparation so I thought the thing that would take up the most time is putting the dinghy on the deck but getting the motor off is proving to be a little bit of a challenge when it's been on there for a while Going a lot of WD-40 a lot of tapping going on you having any luck? But he's actually getting off it's not just the motor he's actually put a lock on there so it's a stainless steel lock and that's what it seems to be a little bit corroded on. Doesn't look bad, but apparently it won't come off. So just a quick tip, if you've got an engine lock, like a outboard motor lock on your outboard, just give it a spray every now and then with WD-40. So when it comes time to take it off, it isn't so painful. What are they called again? Oh, the tool bag. What do they look like? I feel about this bag the way men feel about women's handbags. Is that what your granddad's? Yeah. The big ones? No, but there's a little pair of them. What's the likelihood of me not getting chopped up looking for them? I'm right. Is that it? Yeah. Oh yeah! But why can't he keep his tools clean? Every time I go in that bag and get him something, that's what my hands look like. Did you get it off? Is that the magic tool you needed? Yeah. It's just, it's so clean, but it just must have the smallest bit of corrosion inside to, I can't even build it back up. I got it undone, that's the main thing. It's like an, an anti-theft device for your outboard, but it's a, <laughs> anti-owner's device too. <laughs> you really can't get it off even if you want to. There's not much of a key, I just had to put the Stilsons around here and hold on here and we've got it. Alright, let's get this motor off. Are you trying to take the engine off? Oh, no, now I am. <laughs> I just spent like about an hour trying to get my anti-theft device off. Which works. <laughs> Very well. Where are you going? Just, uh, Do you want me to jump around there and lift it up? Yeah, if you put it down there. Okay, ready. Yeah, you do that bit. Oh, you could have warmed the engine up a bit for me. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking hot, isn't it? <laughs> well, that was a lot easier than oh, it was going to be for me. Bloody hot, eh? Thanks, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> One job. One step closer. Alright, so good news. Ben came over at the right time. He's now going to help put the dinghy on the deck. We were going to winch it up, but... Let's go see if we can fit Dory on the deck. All right, I, you need me, right? Yeah. Like a rash. All right, I'm going to go back in the boat. They're going to handle this. <laughs> Yeah, you might not be at your best, 
but it's fine I don't mind telling truths when you need to hear them And be kind when that's what you prefer How about when you can't see our way out Help you fight And let you know you planned this honey yeah, yeah. so it works it's gonna do his tire points are from there to <laughs> to there one on the other side and there's also something you can tie to at the front so it it actually should work so you happy with that captain yeah so I did intend on the bum sitting on the deck but um it's not gonna gain me any more visibility because if I drop the bum down anyway I don't gain any more because the nose is up and from the helm I can see perfectly still so no I'm happy with that. I've got good tie down points to tie it all down and um, yeah. So that's great news. Dinghy dory fits on the deck and we don't have to worry about another solution um, and we've got tie points and everything's ready for her to be tied down so that's great news. I think our next job is probably getting all of this stuff back in to its locker. Um, downstairs is looking pretty good and we just got to uh, provision a few things. Not much here, we're going to do most of it in Linkawi um, and then get to Linkawi. <laughs> Plan is to leave tomorrow or the next day. We'll see how we go. The provisioning started in Penang. <laughs> this is load two. <laughs> Hanging off everywhere here. Oh. <laughs> Losing your mask. Where's my mask? <laughs> Alright, uh, that should be a big bulk of the provisioning. It's going to be a long time before we see some good provisions, so I've uh, really got to think about what we're doing here. So, we're about to um, untie the lines here at Penang Marina and we're heading back to Linkawi. Just been up to the coffee shop to get the the captain this morning coffee. Um, I was hoping to go to a little shop that's here but it's not open to get the final things but that's all right we're gonna go to Lankawi stock up. You ready captain? It's a bit hungover. <laughs> That'll <Yeah>. help. <laughs> About to untie the lines here in Penang. Head back to Lankawi. Hey team. No rush. Four days and we'll head off to the Indian Ocean. We've got 15 minutes to be out of this marina, otherwise the tide's yeah. too low. You can see over here, the tide is low. It's very low and 9.30 was the limit and it's quarter past. Usual, yeah. as usual, we're leaving yeah, everything to last minute, last, minute, last second.
Guys, hey, two fishing boats in here with all their nets and their little boys. And um, that was hand steering us through all of them. Oh, one step at a time. We all play our part. Go out now. Be good. Be fine. Just had to pull up in the middle of, I don't know, nowhere. Because Sarah needed to have a little dip. Not much wind in the sails, so why not? Thank you. All right, back to it. For weekends, wishing I could take a break from this world. Running on a hamster wheel, but searching for something I can't feel. I just wanna. anchor down and just cause a little bit of stress on the captain. I was pressing the wrong, um, wrong switch foot pedal. <laughs> I thought it wasn't working but I just had one of those moments when my brain didn't work. <laughs> I was pulling the anchor up and it wasn't going but it was just making like a clicking noise. <laughs> oh yeah he loves me luckily. <laughs> to stay here and swim but we needed to leave so I was put back in the boat to pull up the anchor We needed to get to the marina to collect our parcels and to do the last of our to-do list. So we're just coming into the marina. Great timing because it's just started blowing 25 knots plus. It's a bit of a front coming through. Bella's on the wheel, Lee's tying on the fenders. And um, we've got our, we've contacted the marina. Our dock's a pretty easy one, hopefully. Right, Captain? It's gonna be a windy, windy docking. Perfect driving there, Valley. It's not ideal, babe. Probably about to get not more ideal. We'll have to, when we pull up, we'll have to quickly try and get the cover on. So 
that was uh, a little bit more challenging than the usual docking. Had the wind, change of dock in the last minute. But we're in! This is ours, and that's all ours. <laughs> Luckily, so far there's no one else on the ferry. So we just got back. It's very late, but we're very excited to open up this box right here. So, so excited. We're gonna fold all this stuff away. We're gonna find places for all of this. So we're getting really close to our big trip across the Indian Ocean. And one of the most important bit of gear is in this box. Drum roll, please. This box of goodies is from Burke Marine and we are very grateful for all the things inside that will make our passage more comfortable and safer. Alright guys, so um, we've been to the shops today and we've provisioned. We did some provisioning in Penang and we got um, a lot of stuff but we, we're still uh, packing the boat. And you guys are interested in knowing all what we're packing it with so I thought I'd show you guys uh, some of the stuff that we're stocking up on. Uh, so there's heaps of flour, I've packed so much flour, um, there's probably 20 kilos of flour. Corn chips, we love corn chips for nachos, sultanas, olives, seeds, sunflower seeds, and lots of tin tomatoes. The tin stuff is like chickpeas, tomatoes, and lentils. Um, I think I got that I've stocked up on. Got lots of tins of tuna. So that's good to stock into the cupboard and some tinned fruit, so tinned pineapple. This is all obviously when we run out of fresh food, um, but yeah, we stock the cupboards full of tin stuff. For milk, we don't drink cow's milk, we drink coconut milk, so what we've got coconut milk. We water it down so it's at more of a milk consistency and that goes pretty fast, so that lasts for a while. Um, We've got some like pre like rendang and sauces to go with meals. I'm going to take you over to our new locker that is nearly full. Well, it's not really. It's nearly full and I'll just show you what we've put in there um, because this is brand spanking new. We didn't have this beforehand so we've got so much more food storage now because Lee's moved the batteries and we've got a new locker. So let's go take a look what's in that locker. Uh, coconuts. So I've got shredded coconut. So all my flour is in here. Um, oats, we have stocked up on oats, we have muesli usually for breakfast so what I'll do before we leave or on passage is make a bulk amount of muesli because we eat lots of muesli for breakfast. We have lots of brown rice, so these are good because they're uh, vacuum sealed. Um, we found rice thins, <laughs> I don't know if you know what these are but they're like they're so good and we haven't seen them since Australia so I kind of went a little nuts and stocked up on these in Penang because they're not here in Langkawi. The other thing we stocked the boat with is the wraps. They're really easy to have so quick meals if you're in passage rough weather. I usually make like quesadillas or something easy with these. They're very quick and easy to have. Popcorn is another great snack so we've stocked, stocked the boat full of popcorn. Um, we've got sugar and all of the usual things, but I'll go through and show you guys as we go, as we provision, so that you get a bit of an idea what we stock our boat with. Um, yeah, that's it. This is uh, round two of provisioning for Catalpa. 
The first lot was in Penang, this lot is in Langkawi. And this is nearly full. We do have some things. I've got olive oil at the back there, so like a, two litres of olive oil and some honey. Goopy mayonnaise, <laughs> um, apple cider vinegar, anything that I know, like uh, what I'm putting in here is stuff that we use all the time, but like back up. So I'll have in these lockers, I'll put flour and I'll put oats and I'll put things that we are going to use at the beginning. I'll stock there too so we don't, because it's kind of difficult, not difficult, but to find stuff under here might be a little bit tricky. So <laughs> um, this is back up. So yeah, that's it. We're going to go to bed, super tired. It's been a big day getting things uh, done. It's Monday. There's a weather window that we were trying to go for on Wednesday. Um, we've got a few things to do tomorrow, so we'll keep you posted, see how we go. We may not be heading off Wednesday. We're not sure what we might do. Stay tuned for more. Like the video and subscribe, please. Part of our provisioning for today, managed to find some block. What I intend to do with these is to make a preventer. So I just got some 12 mil line and I'm gonna run these sort of forward and then aft. So the line will run back to the helm. Usually how we run our preventers is Sarah goes forward and ties the boom off that way, but I just think it's a lot safer, big ocean crossing that we can try and do as much from the helm without going forward, especially the night. So yeah, the idea is is when we're running downwind and the boom is forward, you don't want to accidentally jibe. We're going to set this up so that we retain the boom, put a preventer either side that runs back to the helm, and we should be good.